Squarespace appointment booking website, how to use it step by step. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another great tutorial related to e-commerce. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can basically use Squarespace to uh, do all the bookings for appointments, like for your clients or maybe for your students or something like that. It's gonna be pretty easy stuff, pretty basic stuff, and I'm gonna be teaching you how to do it all in the easiest, most simplest way possible. So just please make sure to watch this video till the end and uh, you will properly know how to use the Squarespace appointment booking. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, do know this, a lot of people make a common mistake between Squarespace and Square Up. So please do make sure to go to squarespace.com, not squareup.com. They both are totally different things. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on Squarespace appointments. And once you do that, you can see here online appointment scheduling Squarespace. So obviously we're going to like head right into over here where it says everything you need to schedule anything. All-in-one appointment management, Squarespace scheduling helps you automate everything from payments to reminders. Working 24-7 to fill your schedule with Squarespace scheduling, clients can quickly view credibility and book their appointments or classes. They can even pay online and reschedule with a click. Never ask what time works for you again. Simplicity meets power. Tools that take the hassle out of online scheduling, bookings, and payments. You can also promote your availability, share your available hours, and let clients book and reschedule your appointments. Stay organized, save time, get paid, and much, much more. Now, obviously, we know that the scheduling tool is a part of the Squarespace management. So obviously, you're going to have to create a full-fledged website for this to work. So to get into that, obviously, first of all, we're just going to go ahead and click on Try Scheduling. Now, obviously, it brings us to this whole scheduling trials thing. So it says start your equity or acuity scheduling trial. Now, obviously, it works with an integrated space and it works with a program called acuity because acuity is what makes uh, like the bookings, helps us book appointments and stuff like that. So as we can see, it's setting things up. It does it pretty quickly for us. And here we are. So set up your scheduling page. Uh, you're going to put in your business name. And once you've done that, you're going to put in your URL. Once you've done that, you're going to come up to set up your first appointment type. You're going to add in your name. So I'm going to go just add in anything. It doesn't really matter. You're going to add in or like, you know what? Let's go with gym class uh, triceps. Okay, I'm going to go with that. It's a gym class for triceps. The duration, let's make it 180 minutes. Okay. The appointment could be one-on-one -on -one or it could be a class or group. I'm going to go with one-on-one -on -one and the price for three hours of gym class. I'm going to go with uh, 40, $40, $40 seems fine. Once you do that, you're going to click on next. And once you click on next here, it says set up your availability. Choose when you want to accept appointments with clients. You can always change your availability when needed. You'll need to set up at least one day of the week to complete this step. So we're going to obviously choose the days. I'm going to choose Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and let's go with Friday and Saturday. Yeah, that, let's go with those. And you're going to choose the time if you want to, and you're going to click on next. Now, once you click on next here, it says accept payments and grow your revenue. Connect Stripe, Square, or PayPal to give your clients more ways to book and pay online. Prevent no-shows by collecting deposits or full payment at booking. Attract and retain clients by offering multiple ways to pay in person or, or online. Create packages, gift cards, and subscriptions to entice clients to book. So you can con and connect with them right now, or you can just do it later. Totally upon you. Now, once you've done that, you are good to go. You are into your Squarespace scheduling dashboard or your Acuity scheduling dashboard. Now, to obviously add these booking appointments, you're going to create it, customize your scheduling page. Now, once you're in customize your scheduling page, obviously over here, you can see all these things. Now it's time for the fun stuff, making sure what your client see matches your brand and makes you look professional. Upload your logo, change colors and preview what your clients see when they book with you. So you can skip it if you want to, but appearance matters a lot. So first of all, in the appearance section, you're going to go with your template. You can go with a daily 
uh, which is best for clients, always uh, try to find the earliest convenient time. Or you can go with the monthly template, which is best for clients booking more than a week in advance. I'm going to go with daily because obviously no one books gym classes in advance. So I'm going to go with daily. You're going to put in your business name. Select the industry. So uh, let's find gym. gym. There we go. CrossFit gym. You're going to put in a logo. A logo just makes it look much better. Like I'm not going to add necessarily add a gym logo right now, but I'm going to give you an example of what it's going to make your whole thing look like. So we're just going to go on an image. Let me just find a good image for this. So yeah, there we go. I think one of these images, yeah, let's go with that one. And once you've added those images, you're going to add some instructions, okay? Once you've added an instruction, just complete your details as you want. Change the font if you want to, change the button accent color, and just click on Save Changes. Now, once you click on Save Changes, you're going to go and expand preview, and this is what your stuff is going to look like. Pretty cool stuff. So once you've done that, you can also go on scheduling page options and in scheduling page options, you can like change all these options and settings as well. Over here, you can obviously see show schedule, another important button, hide another time, uh, require phone number, disable client log, hide duration, hide prices, collapse categories, uh, services, hide spots left, classes, hide spots left and much more. So obviously, like you can hide and show stuff over here if you want to. Pretty easy, pretty basic stuff. And then obviously, you have advanced CSS, which is obviously your coding or your custom cascading style sheet. So if you want to add custom coding, you can put it in here right now, like or just copy it from online. Pretty like people have pretty good CSS codes, which make your page look pretty good, pretty grand. So basically, what's going to happen is uh, you're going to need to upgrade your whole system to obviously link it with your custom CSS. But once you've done that, you're going to click on Save Changes and it's going to be implemented into your main payment portal over here. And once it's implemented, you are good to go. Your whole payment process is set and then you're just going to like spread out the link with whatever website you have. And yeah, that's basically how you're going to get your appointment booking and payment portal using Squarespace appointment booking or appointment scheduling. So I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me I am always available and I will give you the easiest step to step guides for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Before signing off, please like, and subscribe to the channel and uh, i hope you all have a great day so until next time i'll see you later and goodbye